Hello in this presentation we have to see about the mechanical computers. First we see about what is the mechanical computer. What is mechanical computers? A mechanical computer is a computer that, instead of running on electricity and electrical parts, uses mechanical parts. Mechanical computer relies on mechanical parts. Common parts include gears, screws, pulleys and levers, with levers being perhaps one of the most memorable parts because of the loud noise made when operators pull them. Even after the advent of electronic computers, this computer was still built with mechanical parts in keeping with the design aesthetic and benefits of using mechanical parts, such as substantially lower energy needs and better durability. In 1642 Blaise Pascal, at age 19, invented the Pascalin as an aid for his father who was a tax collector. In 1801 the Frenchman Joseph Marie Jacquard invented a mechanical loom that changes its weave pattern based on the wooden punched cards inserted into it. This was the first machine that was able to change its function depending on the instruction provided to it. By 1822 the English mathematician Charles Babbage was proposing a steam-driven calculating machine the size of a room, which he called the difference engine. This machine would be able to compute tables of numbers, such as logarithm tables. First Mechanical Computer In 1822, Charles Babbage conceptualized and began developing the difference engine, which is considered the first automatic computing machine that could approximate polynomials. Invented and developed his analytical engine in the late 1830s. Like the difference engine, the analytical engine was never fully constructed, but its design was highly influential. First General Purpose Computer In 1837, Charles Babbage proposed the first general mechanical computer, the analytical engine. The analytical engine contained an arithmetic logic unit, basic flow control, punch cards, inspired by the jacquard loom, and integrated memory. It is the first general-purpose computer concept that could be used for many things and not only one particular computation. Unfortunately, because of funding issues, this computer was also never built while Charles Babbage was alive. In 1910, Henry Babbage, Charles Babbage's youngest son, was able to complete a portion of this machine and perform basic calculations. Gottfried Leibniz's Stepped Reckoner The great polymath Gottfried Leibniz was one of the first men who dreamed for a logical device. He tried to combine principles of arithmetic with the principles of logic and imagine the computer as something more of a calculator. He discovered that the computing processes can be done much easier with a binary number coding. Leibniz dreamed of inventing the general problem solver, as well as a universal language. The impressive ideas and projects had to wait for centuries to actually be built, but he had the ideas from the very beginning, starting to create the first prototype. Leibniz faced the same obstacles that other great minds had also faced, poor workmanship and the inability to create the fine mechanics required for the machine. Leibniz hired a skillful mechanician, the local clockmaker, to help him make the first metal prototype. It is unknown how many machines were actually manufactured by Leibniz. 
One of the machines was stored in the attic of a building of the University of Göttingen where it remained until 1879 when it was stumbled upon by a work crew when they were tasked with fixing a leak in the roof. At present time, there exists two old machines and several replicas. Wilhelm Schickard's Clock Wilhelm Schickard is a German astronomer and mathematician who is credited with inventing the world's first mechanical calculator. It was a fairly sophisticated device for its time. It could add, subtract, multiply and divide. The difference that Schickard's device and other calculating devices is that unlike other devices of its time which relied on a human operator to change different portions, his device was a state machine. In different situations, gears would be placed and interact with each other mechanically. The first machine to record and store information. The census tabulator was invented by an American statistician Herman Hollerith. It was created to help with, as the name suggests, tabulating the 1890 census. Herman Hollerith developed a method for machines to record and store information on punch cards for the U.S. Census. Hollerith's machine was approximately 10 times faster than manual tabulations and saved the census office millions of dollars. The tabulator contains four main parts. The pantograph. The pantograph was how the Census Bureau transferred data from their surveys onto the punch cards to be read in. Card Reader. The card reader portion took the freshly punched cards from the pantograph and positioned it between two metal plates. Tabulator dials. Sorting tables. The user would then press the plates together. Whenever there was a spot with a hole a metal pin would pass through and connect with mercury on the other side completing the circuit and moving a counter dial forward. There were 40 dials that kept track of different information, gender, race and the like. First programmable computer the Z1 was created by German Konrad Zuse in his parents' living room between 1936 and 1938. It is considered to be the first electromechanical binary programmable computer and the first functional modern computer. In 1941 Zeus completes Z3, world's first fully functional programmable computer. In 1945 Zeus describes Plankal Quail, world's first high-level programming language containing many standard features of today's programming languages. Fortran came almost a decade later. Zeus also used Plankal Quail to design world's first chess program. First concepts of consider a modern computer the Turing machine was first proposed by Alan Turing in 1936 and became the foundation for theories about computing and computers. The machine was a device that printed symbols on paper tape in a manner that emulated a person following a series of logical instructions. Without these fundamentals, we wouldn't have the computers we use today. Without these fundamentals, we wouldn't have the computers we use today. Electronic Numerical Integrator Analyzer and Computer The ENIAC was a towering machine credited with starting the modern computer age. The ENIAC had 17,468 vacuum tubes. 70,000 resistors, 10,000 capacitors, 1,500 relays, and 6,000 manual switches. It being such a massive machine it also took a huge amount of energy to run. 
The ENIAC was invented by J. Press Pereket and John Morkley at the University of Pennsylvania and began construction in 1943 and was not completed until 1946. The first electric programmable computer The Colossus was the first electric programmable computer, developed by Tommy Flowers and was first demonstrated in December 1943. The Colossus was created to help the British code breakers read encrypted German messages. The first digital computer, short for a Tarnas of Berry computer, the ABC began development by Professor John Vincent Atanasoff and graduate student Cliff Berry in 1937. Its development continued until 1942 at the Iowa State College, now Iowa State University. The ABC was an electrical computer that used more than 300 vacuum tubes for digital computation, including binary math and Boolean logic, and had no CPU, was not programmable. On October 19, 1973, U.S. Federal Judge Earl R. Larson signed his decision that the ENIAC patent by J. Presper Reckett and John Morkley was invalid. In the decision, Larson named Atanasoff the sole inventor. Modern Computers The many difference between the mechanical computer and modern computer Modern computers have a larger memory and can run several and more complex programs at once. The size of computers has decreased by a huge amount making computers very easy to carry around. The graphics of modern computers have been developed so much that they look like real life. The speed of computers has increased by a lot and no you can download a full length movie in about 5 minutes. Thanks for watching my presentation.